My name is Lillian Solt, and I have been working in Costa Rica for the past 50 years as a nurse midwife under Mesa Global. I'll be sharing with you about a woman's project called Asomobi. They grow, produce, and sell coffee in Costa Rica. This is the first woman's group processing coffee in an ecological manner, a very new process for us. It's also coffee is a male enterprise, and we've been able to break into this and help women completely owned and served and worked by women, and they are doing a great job. What I'm going to show and share with you is how important it is to build sustainable communities by helping people to learn to help themselves, teach them to fish for a lifetime. My name is Lillian Salt. I am a missionary in Costa Rica, and I am excited to see and share with you our project of Asomobi in Costa Rica. When I first started there, I'm a nurse, of course, and I have all these nursing abilities, but nobody mm -hmm. seemed very interested in health. And when I first asked, you know, what, what do you feel is the first problem we have to address? I'm thinking, you know, water and, and they go, we need a coffee truck. And I'm like, like Starbucks? No, no, not like Starbucks. But it's a coffee truck, meaning that the roads were so bad. The mud was to the knees of horses. And they had to go down a mountain four hours with only two bags of beans. That's 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. And then back up four hours and get two more bags and go down. So it was almost impossible to get the coffee out. Once we got the road done, then it was, uh, once we got the coffee truck, then it was to work on the roads. And I have no experience in this. And so working with them for the coffee truck, the Canadian embassy, I wrote my first grant, which I do not like grant writing, but we got the money to buy the truck. Once we resolved that problem, then it was the roads, then it was the water, and then it was the project. It's been a very interesting time because Working in community development was not my forte. <laughs> but it's interesting that as you work with people and you work alongside them, it's not something that develops after a year, sometimes two years. We have a broader project that took us 18 years mm -hmm. simply because you do it on their schedule, not on mine, on theirs. And then the project becomes theirs. There's ownership. And this is what we seek to have these communities do because once they have ownership, they don't fall apart. <laughs>